giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Elizabeth Kling with Mediacom News Leaders. We're talking with Ben Hanfelt right now, uh, the Vice President of Marketing with Catch Des Moines. And Ben, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. So we want to talk about a cool <laughs> new thing you have going on um, called Brew Moines. Brew Moines, yes. Um, this uh, is to celebrate the growing beer scene in, um, in central Iowa. And tell us a little bit about um, just kind of how it works. It all starts with an app, right? Yes, it is. Uh, so it's a brewery passport app, if you will. Um, so, you, you know, it's free to download from either the Apple Store or Google Play. Uh, once you download it, um, the gist of it is we have 18 participating breweries, uh, including Iowa Tap Room and El Bait Shop. Um, so you go to any of those places, you check in uh, in the app, uh, and it uses geolocation, so you can't mm -hmm. cheat yet because you have to be there. Uh, and you ask your server for the password, uh, and then once she gives you, or he, uh, you know, is you know, gives you the password, it stamps your passport, so you get a little check mark that you've been there. That, that yeah, to show that you've been there, uh, and it kind of you know blurs it out, and then that unlocks a coupon for buy one get one free beer. Oh. Um, and you know, if you have a friend with you that has the app, they can also use that coupon. Uh, so you know, that's a one-time use coupon. So that gets you your stamp, and then when you check into six different breweries, there's no time limit, so you don't need to do it all in one day. <laughs> uh, so once you check into the six breweries, you get this lovely t-shirt that I'm wearing, Barley Hops and Brewery and Stops. Brewery stops. Nice. Uh, so that's what you get at six, and you become a Brew Moinian, as opposed oh, to a Des Moinian. Yeah, so you're an official <laughs> Brew Moinian. It's all very official. Yeah. Uh, and then once you check into all 18 breweries, which hopefully will take you a little bit of time, uh, you get this mug you see here, this Brumoyne mug, uh, and a uh, gold, uh, gold t-shirt that says oh Brumoyne on it, which makes you an Imperial Brumoynean, so even yeah. more official. <laughs> uh, and then, so once you're an Imperial Brumoynean, you can take this mug to the participating locations and they will give you even further discounts. So wow. really, if you love beer, uh, it's 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 really a no lose proposition. Yeah, I guess so. so. So tell us about this just launched during the craft beer festival um, just recently, and tell us about the response to it so far as far as downloads. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was crazy. We launched. Um, at the beginning of Des Moines Beer Week at the Iowa Craft Beer Festival, we had a tent there, you know, and there's tents for all the different breweries. And we had longer lines at our tent than any of the actual breweries did. We had people like 30 deep in line all day uh, because they could spin a prize wheel and they could win a t-shirt, they could win a koozie, all this stuff. So yeah. people go nuts for free stuff. But them being in, in line gave us a chance to engage them and let them know what the app was. And, response has just been tremendous. It's been just a little over a week and we already have about 2,500 downloads, which far exceeded our expectations. And I think over a thousand people have already actually then checked in too. And we even have, you know, a bunch of people that have already been Are Brumoinians already in you know, less than a week. So yeah, I mean, it's something that people have been very excited about and that other cities have done too. Mm -hmm. And the Des Moines beer scene has just kind of grown to the point where this was kind of a no brainer. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that, that growth and um, kind of how that then inspired you to come up with something to kind of meet that demand, I guess. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've seen, you know, in the past 10 years or so, craft beer has kind of become this sort of niche into this whole kind of lifestyle choice, you know, and you hear the word beercation or brewcation where people are traveling to go to breweries, you know. I mean, typically I think you associate that with wine, you know, people go to mm -hmm. Napa or people go to Sonoma. But now you have people that'll come to Des Moines or people that'll go to Decorah because there's these cool breweries. And uh, it, me being a beer lover myself, if I go to Kansas City, the first thing I do is look, you know, what are the cool beers in Kansas City yeah. to have? So it's, it's, it's really become its own industry. I think in, uh, just in Iowa, uh, the breweries have like $100 million in like economic impact. And, uh, you know, they account for 1,500 jobs. So our job at the CVB is to bring people into the area uh, to, to visit and you know since the beer industry has become something that people travel for this kind of became a no-brainer for us and it's something that our partners the breweries have been asking for for a long time um, you know because you know other cities like Kansas City and Omaha some of our sister cities do do this and have seen great success and it's kind of a way 
you know, not only do you win cool stuff, but you know, within the app, we also have an events page where all the breweries can send like a push notification and let you know if they have like a special release. So, and then you can save the events you want to go to to have kind of an itinerary. Yeah. So it's something where it's kind of a one-stop kind of beer hub. I mean, all of our breweries are kind of known for collaboration. You know, there's kind of friendly rivalries, but everybody kind of gets along. And yeah. this is a way to kind of bring everybody together and you know to get people to come to travel to Des Moines um, and then you know if they come for a brewery they experience you know that halo effect where they see all the other great stuff that Des Moines has to offer they go to the sculpture park and they realize wow Des Moines is a lot cooler than I thought um, yeah. and it's a cool thing for locals too because I mean to get those breweries to, for people to want to travel to a confluence or fire trucker you have to that buzz kind of starts internally so you know, we've already seen tweets like somebody was like, he went to Fender's Brewery, which is out in the suburbs, and he's like, I never would have traveled for that if it weren't for this Brew Moin app. So he found something new. So it really gets, gives people an opportunity to kind of sample all the local breweries that we have here. All right. Well, brewmoin.com for more information. And Ben, thanks so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you for having me. We've been talking with Ben Hanfeld, the Vice President of Marketing with Catch Des Moines. Join us next time here on Mediacom News Leaders.